what was it like breaking into a male dominated industry and what is your advice for others doing or wanting to do the same? I think for me, like when I first started BMX, it was very much a male dominated world and I kind of got into it. And I guess I didn't really see that it was no girls in it. I just loved the sport. But I think it, the, my advice for anyone like is I love the sport and that's what was my draw. And it didn't matter who was, you know, if it was men or women that was doing it. I didn't let anyone stand in my way of, you know, wanting to take part in the sport. And I kind of always went in with the mindset of, yeah, it doesn't matter if, if you're racing boys or girls, you just do your absolute best and keep the focus on yourself. What does diversity and inclusion mean to you and why are they important in sport and beyond? I think they're important, um, you know, across the board. It's not just in sport, it's in general and, di and you know, diversity and, and inclusion is, is extremely important to me. You know, I come from a diverse background myself and, and the opportunities that I had wasn't, you know, from the town that I was in, it wasn't like what everybody else kind of had. It was, you know, I was from a council estate and, and I just think like just giving opportunity and, you know, making sure that, when, when I'm doing something, it's not just, you know, doing it for the elite end, it's doing it at grassroots as well. And that's important to me. How important is LGBT plus representation in sport? It's super, super important. I think even like myself, like when I was, you know, wanting to come out, so to speak, or, you know, what I felt like, you know, ashamed and guilt. And there wasn't that many people that was open about their sexuality at the time. And for me, when I, you know, decided that I wanted to kind of say that I'm in a same sex relationship, I did it in the way that it wasn't about like doing this big announcement, you know, a same sex couple don't say I'm in a same sex relationship, it's just a relationship. And for me, that's what I did. I kind of just went about, you know, putting pictures up on social media of the person who I was with at the time, my partner. And yeah, just, I think it's, yeah, it's important to break the stigma down because so many people since I come, I came out as you know I was I was gay that you know loads of BMX girls and, and other sports have come out and and felt that they could have the strength and the the courage to do so too. How do you build mental strength and then maintain a healthy mindset? Building um, a, a healthy mindset starts with for me routines like I kind of I, I kind of have like a daily routine that I do gratitude is massive like I think for me like I kind of what I do in the day is you know before I get out of that door and start my day I take some time and, and reflect about about the day about myself so I'm kind of doing some mental preparation before I've even got out the door um, and that's like a big big important thing for me um, and I think what it you know there's there's so many self-help books like I've got loads of them you know like a lot of a lot of the things that people are saying, it's kind of building that mental toolbox up, you know, to have the tools in there that when you're faced with, you know, difficulties or, you know, like we're in lockdown, how to deal with that. And it's, for me, it's super important. I want to, I want, I want to educate people more um, about how to deal with certain things and actually how the brain is functioning, but in a very simplified way. Um, and that's where I bring my kind of mindset from sport and how I, you know, went about things that way. And I want to, pass that on and, and pass that on to the general public. What qualities do you possess that you believe led to your sporting success? Um, I was a slave, like I was a slave to the to the goal, basically. And um, for me, like the goal was to be the world champion and it was to be the very best that there was. And I knew that to get there, I had to be, you know, ruthless. I had to be disciplined. I had to be, you know, it was, it was almost like I had to just really immerse myself in the role as an athlete 24 seven. Like it wasn't like, you know, like we've done two hours training, therefore you go home and switch off. It was like, no, okay, what can I do for recovery? What is going to enable me to be a better athlete tomorrow? And um, so, yeah, it was just all about like just being relentless to the grind.